Entrepreneur on Fire, episode 352. Prepare to embark on a journey with today's most inspiring entrepreneurs. Defy the odds, dealt the doubt, and overcome. Honest flagship nootropic is called Alpha Brain and is designed to be the one-stop powerhouse for helping the body boost neurotransmitter levels, bringing the mind to the top of its game. Get 10% off your supplement purchase by going to onnit.com slash fire, O-N-N-I-T dot com slash fire. Ready to start building your business the efficient way? Entreport makes it easy to set up and automate your business. Expert implementation, done-for-you services, and award-winning customer support await. Go to entreport.com slash fire today. Okay, Fire Nation, let's get started. I am simply thrilled to introduce my guest today, Syed Balki. Syed, are you prepared to ignite? Yes. <laughs> All right. Syed is the founder of WP Beginner, the largest free WordPress resource site for beginners in List 25, which is a popular site of curated lists of intriguing information on a variety of subjects. His work has been featured in the New York Times, Huffington Post, Yahoo, Business Insider, Mashable, and more. Given Fire Nation just a little overview, Syed, but take a minute. Tell us about you personally. We want to get to know you. Then give us an overview of your business. Syed Balki here. I'm 22 years old. I live in Florida. Uh, entrepreneur, consultant. I make things go viral. I can, If you want somebody to look at your stuff, I can get the eyes. And that's what my entire motto is. I consult with large companies like Warner Brothers, Merrill Lynch. And then I have sites like WP Beginner that are here to help out whenever, you know, all my audience and List 25 for entertainment purposes, and I have a site called Steady Strength in the fitness industry. Whoa, so much stuff going on, and give us a little more personal background about you. So, um, I was born and raised in Pakistan, moved to U.S. in 12, and I've been an entrepreneur since then, so that's when I started um, with buying and selling domain names, and then going on into the web space, creating websites, then flipping those websites, and then learning all, how to grow those websites. And then this is where I am about 10 years down. Very cool. Very cool. Well, I'm probably one of the few born and bred Americans that you're going to talk to that actually can say that I've been in Pakistan. I was up in Amritsar back in 2009, which is in northwestern India, and I went to the border for this great flag raising ceremony. It's actually a flag lowering ceremony. It was really fascinating. It's the Indian and Pakistani army face off and they do this kind of whole theater type thing because they both have a lot of fun doing it. And I went over to the board and I just kind of reached my hand across. So I was technically at least part of me in Pakistan for a hot second. <laughs> <laughs> That's very cool. You're the only person that I know who did that. Oh, I am cool. That's cool. So, Syed, we love to talk here at Entrepreneur on Fire about a success quote because it helps us get that motivational ball rolling early in the interview. And I know you have a great one for us. So, take it away. My quote is Make friends, make money. Go the extra mile to help when you can. Make friends, make money. Go the extra mile to help when you can. Can we attribute that to somebody? That's the quote that I've come up with over. Uh, the 10 year period. So it's Syed. We can attribute it to you. You can attribute it to me. That's right. <laughs> so give us an example of how you've actually applied this mantra to your lifestyle, Syed. Tell us a story. Let's go back. I think in 09 that was. And when my friend Robert Scoble's website got hacked, and I was able to, you know, send him an email about some tips on how he can, you know, get his WordPress site back up. And it was just me going out of the way to help somebody that, you know, I respected in the industry whose website I read and then, you know, without expecting anything in return. And next thing you know, Robert just sent out a tweet. Another example is um, Michael Hyatt. When the first time he actually reached out to me with a contact form, I didn't even know who Michael Hyatt was. And he was like, he needs some help with his website. And I ended up, you know, helping him out. And he's like, hey, I want to pay you to help me with this. And then next thing you know, I ended up working with Thomas Nelson Publishers on one of their projects. So, and I have like, tons of stories that I can talk about that where I, you know, just going the extra mile has helped me grow my business because pretty much all of the larger clients that I've gotten is through friends introducing me to, you know, their friend and then, you know, how the intro game works. Wow. Well, you know, Syed, that I love stories and we're definitely going to dive into more stories. I mean, Michael Hyatt 
What a great contact to have. Past guest of Entrepreneur on Fire. Just a stand-up guy with an amazing podcast. Himself, This Is Your Life, amongst many other things that he has going on at his website. So definitely kudos for building and fostering that relationship. And what I do want to do now, Syed, is talk about you and talk about your journey as an entrepreneur because we've already shared a couple wins that you've had because you did go the extra mile. But we want to talk now about a failure that you've had, about a time that you just fell flat flat in your face. And you really didn't know if you were going to be able to get back up. Talk about that moment. Share with us that story and the lessons you learned. I've failed so many times, but I'll talk about one of the recent ones that is really, really fresh in my head. It was uh, 2011 when we decided to change the whole WP Beginner design. And it was like, you know, let's do something really, really cool because that's what everybody else is doing, right? And we went totally in the opposite direction, created something really unconventional. And what ended up happening is our traffic took a big dump. You know, the amount of leads that were coming in were just like dropped to pretty much nothing. And the lesson of the story was that don't change when you have to. You know, when you don't have to change, just don't change. And stick with your brand. One of the things that we did was we changed the color scheme, you know, just to make things. Since WP Beginner was a site about WordPress, I thought it would be really cool to, you know, make it look like the WordPress dashboard. And it was it, it was a really, really cool design, in my opinion. But when you throw that curveball at your audience, sometimes they're not going to be able to hit it. And, you know, it, it was a terrible, uh, terrible mistake. And I didn't think it, it, whether we would be able to get all that traffic back to WP Beginner because we did lose a lot of it. And um, but good, good thing that we, you know, we came back by just consistently, you know, reaching out to everybody who was complaining. I had such a good, you know, readership. And that's when I was like, okay, before you make any changes, just ask your readers, what do they want changing? Don't just change because you think a change is necessary. I love that. And the fact that you're suggesting to involve your audience, to involve your readers in those potential changes, to make them feel a part of it, because then once you do make those changes, if you decide to go that route, they take ownership of that and they're going to support that. And you found that, Syed. Oh, yeah. I've I've gotten tweets from people that are like, oh, my God, I just saw that feature. I can't believe that, you know, um, I suggested. And also, that's that's how 90, 90 plus percent of all the content that comes on WP Beginner comes through our users. They, they ask the question and then we feature that on the website. And like, oh, my God, like I asked that question like four days ago and now it's on the website. I love that story. I mean, it happens at Entrepreneur on Fire. I get emails from people and they say, John, this would be an amazing question for the lightning round. And what's kind of funny is that right before we started our chat today, you said, John, I have a question about one of the questions in the lightning round. And I said, well, funny enough, we've actually taken that question out because of a reader who recommended another question that I think is amazing. And when I actually take what my listeners are suggesting and implement it within Entrepreneur on Fire, they are blown away, just like you're saying. So really involve your audience, make them part of it. Because what we're building here, Fire Nation listeners, is a community. We're building an audience of like-minded entrepreneurs who are all out here to try to grow our businesses. So I love that message, Syed. And I want you to kind of boil it down for us. What's one takeaway you have from that experience you can share with us? The one takeaway from that experience is exactly what you're talking about. It's, you know, ask your audience, don't change when you don't have to. Just because, you know, you think things need to change, don't, you know, unless you can find numbers that back it up. Love it. So, Syed, I want to move forward into the other end of the spectrum. You shared with us a major obstacle that you had to overcome, changing your site, seeing the plummet in traffic and leads and all that generation and having to work your way back to where you were prior to that change. Let's talk about the other end of the spectrum, which is that aha moment, that lightning bolt that just opened your eyes and you said, wow, this is going to resonate with my listeners. This is going to resonate with my audience. What was that moment, Syed, and how'd you turn it into success? I've done numerous businesses the start of WP Beginner was one of those aha moments because I I was a consultant before I started WP Beginner. And it, this was a time in 08 when I decided to switch all of my static clients, static website clients over to WordPress. And I started getting the same questions over and over saying, hey, how do you do this in WordPress? How do you do that in WordPress? And at that time, there was no website for you know beginners. Every WordPress website was about developers, um, by developers, you know. 
So I was like, that's the aha moment. I need to go in and start a website because there's such a huge void in the industry. And next thing you know, this is the largest free WordPress resource site today. So did you start with the name WP Beginner? Was that the first domain you bought for this? That's correct. That was the first domain I bought for it because I was like, okay, all of my audience are beginners. And you know, I just looked up WP Beginner and it was available. So I was like, yeah, that's, that works. It definitely works. I was just kind of curious if you'd ever started with maybe a WordPress beginner.com domain or something that could have been treading on the toes because there's a lot of different examples of where people are starting up consulting businesses or things like you did for WordPress and they utilize that actual name in a domain. And it's not necessarily always a bad thing. It doesn't always work out badly for them. But then there is some time down the road when you do gain that popularity that you get a little knock on the door that says um, you can't use that word. <laughs> yeah, so my experience in business, I had numerous ones before and I've had, you know, trademark issues. So I looked into, before I before I did this, I was very aware of the WordPress community guidelines and the trademark policies because I've been using WordPress since 2006. So yes, I was aware of that. So I didn't make that mistake. That is very powerful because so many people really don't think long term when they're really setting down to do something, but you use your business savvy just from prior knowledge to really make sure that you created something from the get-go that was going to be there for the longevity because it's a lot easier to change a design on a domain and get people to come back than to actually have to change a domain. That's correct. <laughs> <laughs> so, Syed, I want to stay in the early days of WP Beginner because I personally find it fascinating at how you've been able to grow it to literally the largest free WordPress resource site for beginners. I mean, that's a feat because everybody's on WordPress. And the fact that you now have this resource that's the largest and it's free, let's talk about that. Let's talk about your early implementation of it and why you continue to make it completely free. What was the mentality behind that? So when I first started, this, you know, the free stuff was actually to help my business, you know, help answer the client questions. So I wouldn't have to rewrite the same email over and over again. I could just point them to WP Beginner. That was my motivation for keeping it free. And in terms of like growing it, one of the things that I did was um, I, pr I got involved in social media. I was, I was already very well connected. Um, I was helping out uh, with Lee Friedman of Smashing Magazine, uh, Darren Rouse. I already knew that I was part of their community. So I, you know, they helped me really promote it. Like Pro Blogger was retweeting it. Smashing Magazine was talking about it. And I was also um, very involved in the dig.com community, uh, you know, back in the days when dig.com was really powerful. Right. I was, I was one of the power users there, so I did submit, you know, WP Beginner in there, and that got us, like, a bunch of eyes. And then uh, I was able to got, get WP Beginner into Wired.com. That brought us a lot, of the, a lot of eyes. And then Robert Scoble's tweet was very, you know, powerful because that brought a whole new different set of eyes because people who were following Robert are influencers, and that got us like mentioned in Mashable and various other places. Another thing that I did was I was writing, I was keeping very close eye on what was happening within our industry. So when Twitter Anywhere first came out, right, I was the, one of the first people who actually sat there and wrote a guide, how to add Twitter Anywhere on your WordPress site. And then the Twitter Anywhere account ended up retweeting that guide. So that brought a lot of eyes. And then um, when LinkedIn button first came out before LinkedIn could even get their blog post up. I had my blog post up on how to add LinkedIn, you know, button to your WordPress site. So when they wrote an announcement about that, uh, they actually ended up mentioning WP Beginner's article in there. So I was just very involved in trying to, you know, get that cutting edge. And staying cutting edge too, which is so powerful in so many different ways. So kind of talk to us specifically about the growth of WP Beginner. How did it start? And let's really kind of talk numbers as far as where the traffic was when you first began, which was obviously zero or close to zero, to where you brought it after all of these great retweets and mentions. So WP Beginner now consistently gets over a million page views a month on the site. And it has a huge community now, just about Every you know we're just growing by word of mouth. I've never really done any advertising for WP Beginner, uh, aside from running like few Facebook ads in the beginning that I did. But um, now I don't do any advertising. I do attend a lot of WordCamps. I try to you know help as many people out at WordCamps so people you know talk about WP Beginner. And this is now just growing by word of mouth. 
And so what are some ways that you really started to monetize WP Beginner from that point where you started to offer everything as a free resource and it's this site now that's generating over 1 million page views per month. It's the largest resource for WordPress on the internet. I mean, it's massive. Talk about the monetization aspect. So in the beginning, I've had an affiliate marketing background. So what I started doing was if I recommended something, I might as well put in a, you know, affiliate link in there. So that makes it like a small portion of the income and, you know, it's small compared to our company's overall income, but it's, it's, it's a decent amount. And what this really started doing was when a lot of people started talking about it, we started attracting much larger companies to come in and say, hey, we want to consult with you on our WordPress site. And we started getting much, much larger contracts. So consulting there really helped us fuel and grow this business. So, Syed, you mentioned a couple small turning points you obviously had by being retweeted by this person or being mentioned in an article by LinkedIn. Talk right now to Fire Nation about a major turning point that you saw, a major inflection point within WP Beginner, and how do you think that came about? The first time that it got front page on Dig, it got tons and tons and tons of traffic. So, and after that, it, you know, it just opened up all sort of eyes. And, you know, then I, I'm getting comments from Matt Mullenweg, the founder of WordPress on the site. It's like, that's really cool. <laughs> that is really crazy stuff. And what have been some of the really exciting things that have spun off of the success of WP Beginner that you maybe didn't even expect when you first launched the site? I mean, we just had our fourth birthday on July 4th of this year. Happy birthday. And, and uh, thank you. And we did a contest to... It was the largest WordPress contest ever. With uh, We did have $25,000 worth of prizes, over 200 winners, and we were able to build a school in Guatemala. Wow. Well, that's near and dear to my heart, being a country that I lived in for four months and did a lot of volunteer work for. They can use all of the schools that they can get, believe me. So let's talk about List 25. I really want to know a little bit more about this. What was your inspiration behind List 25, and what does it look like? So this 25, I was in Europe, I was visiting castles and I was like, well, you know, it'd be really cool if I, somebody made a list of things you should do every time you're at a castle, you know, things to see. Because, you know, castles are huge and if you're running on a crunch time, you got to just go in and look, look at the things that you need to look and run, right? If you're, if you're on a quick trip. So I was like, I should create a site about 21 things you should see at this castle or that castle. And that ended up evolving into list 25 of just about everything because my one of my friends that was there, he was like, dude, you're not going to be able to go to every castle with everything that you have running around. I'm like, but this list idea is really cool. So why don't we just do list 21? And it was like, well, list 21 doesn't really sound as cool uh, because we weren't going to do top 10 lists. There's too many sites that do that anyways. So we're like, well, why don't we do list 25? And over the time, you know, that those three months from November 2011 to January 2012, we had massive success on Facebook because I did a giveaway on Facebook that turned out really, really well. So I'm like, okay, you know, I like this social platform, Facebook, but I want to, I don't want to rely on just that. I want to expand. So I was trying every different type of social network. So I was, you know, we finding success and stumble upon. I was like, okay, let's try Tumblr. So we set up a Tumblr blog for List25. It was 2 to 5list25.com That was our Tumblr property. I was like, well, why don't we just do um, YouTube as well? So we did a YouTube. Uh, and now, you know, we, YouTube is one of our biggest communities for List25. We have like over 370 some thousand subscribers there. And we're growing at about fifty five to 60,000 new subscribers a month. Wow. So is this all you guys getting lists of 25 things to do of all these different things around the world and you're just putting them on the site? Or is there a, a way that you go about that? Well, List 25 now with such a huge audience, we have um, so many new ideas that users submit. So List 25 is not just about travel. It's about little bizarre things that you would ne- never known, but now you know, right? And a lot of, there's a lot of research involved in some of those 25 lists. Others are more like eye candy. So those are picture lists. And then there's video lists that are always educational, always research-based. Now, with such a huge influx of ideas that are just coming in, we don't really have to think about ideas. If I were to give you like publishing stats that um, I did a presentation of, of this this weekend, we had we have over 180 articles that are ready to publish on the site right now and 88 pitches and about 50 that are being worked, worked on right now by the writers. 
Wow, that is quite an accomplishment. And I will say, it's just kind of crazy how ideas are spurred. But when you were just talking about being in that castle and saying, you know, it'd be great if I had a list of like 25 things I should do within this castle. Like that's how your mind works. My mind was working. Wow, how awesome would it be to be in a castle and to say, you know what, here's a 25 minute podcast. And that podcast will just be talking about where you should go, what you should be looking at. Okay, take a left now, go down those stairs. Okay, look up to the right. Now you see that statue right there, X, Y, Z. There's absolutely an opportunity there for a podcast that's like the audio version of a List 25. There's definitely room for everyone to grow. Oh, man. Well, hey, Fire Nation, if anybody wants to take up that torch, I am not claiming that idea as my own. I don't have all the time in the world. I wish I did. But that is something I think would be phenomenal. So, Syed, let's move to present time. I want to move to today. I mean, you and I, we've hung out before, New Media Expo, Las Vegas, 2013. Unfortunately, we won't be in 2014 because you're shunning our conference that I'm speaking at again for another conference the week after. And I understand that. I forgive you. But <laughs> I, want, I want you to talk to Fire Nation right now about something that's really exciting you right now. Well, the List 25 growth is pretty exciting. Aside from that, I'm launching a new site with a partner called Steady Strength. It's a health site, and we just launched it in July. So that is something really, really exciting within the business. And I think we can definitely grow there. We're, again, utilizing YouTube because we have such a phenomenal community there. We're just leveraging that to grow our Steady Strength project. So I'm really, really looking forward to that. I um, also launched a really cool social media plugin for WordPress called Floating Social Bar. And that's, it's pretty exciting to see that one grow. I think we have over 17,000 or 18,000 downloads on that. It's on WordPress. my website. Hey, there you go. So, <laughs> uh, so it, it's, it's really cool because, you know, it's, it's really fast and it's good to get, get feedback on that. And then um, I have a new secret project coming hopefully Ooh. next month. It's called Optin Monster. So you guys should check it out. I'm excited for Optin Monster, I'll tell you, because, you know, nothing against the ones that are out there right now, but there's definitely room for improvement. So, Syed, let me know. And if you need a beta tester, I'm here for you, buddy. One thing that really does interest me about you, Syed, because we talk about this on Fire Nation all the time, the bright, shiny object syndrome. So often entrepreneurs just can't focus on one thing and they just chase all these different ideas that are really great ideas, but that chasing really keeps them from being successful because they are not focusing on one thing and not putting their heart and soul into it. So Syed, my question to you is, how do you have all of these great ideas, pursue them all and still find success? So one of the things is the ideas that I'm talking about, these are not all the ideas. I think good ideas are a distraction. And great ideas are the ones worth taking action on. But I have a good team that is around me that is helping me do things. So it's not just, you know, me. I, even though I get to be the front face for the company, I started the company, but I have uh, some amazing people that are working with me. And, you know, they help me grow. And everything that I have going on, I couldn't possibly do it all by myself. So I have David who and Juan that are pretty much leading the project list 25 for me adam is leading the project steady strength and you know i'm very in you know hands-on involved with wp beginner and consulting with the clients and then i have tim and and joseph and elaine and everybody that you know keeps this company going so it's definitely not just me so if you were a one-man show i definitely recommend that you focus and once you start growing and you have a good team then you can you know branch out a little bit if you need to all right. I just took a deep sigh of relief because I thought that you were really tackling all these projects on your own. But it's so great to see that you've developed an amazing team. You've placed them around you and you're moving forward in that direction. All these different exciting ventures I am pumped about. And Syed, we're going to break in real quick here to thank our sponsors. Ever feel like you're trying to be in five places at once? That's probably because you are. You have a tab open for your client relationship management, another tab open for your email, and yet another tab open for your e-commerce management. But wait, what if you could be managing all of these things under a single umbrella? Enter Entreport, an all-in-one small business management platform that integrates all the software you need to start, systemize, and scale your business. Entreport makes it easy to set up and automate your business with expert implementation, done-for-you services, and award-winning customer support. By integrating multiple platforms into one powerful solution, 
Entreport ensures you have the time and energy you need to work on building a business you love. Take it from Dane Maxwell, co-founder of The Foundation. He set up his entire business on Entreport in under seven days. To learn more about Entreport and what their all-in-one platform can do for you and your business, go to entreport.com slash fire today. That's entreport.com slash fire. Bright and shiny objects are all around us as entrepreneurs, and it's up to us to stay focused and not get blown off course. The reason Entrepreneur on Fire has over 500,000 unique downloads every single month from an audience that is growing by the minute is because when I'm conducting interviews or doing edits, I refuse to let other things distract me from the task at hand. I've been able to do this with the help of Alpha Brain. Alpha Brain is an all-natural supplement created by Onnit that's designed to make it easy to give your brain everything it needs to function above optimal levels. If you're ready for that feeling where everything is just coming together, your focus is on, your mental energy is there, you can recall names and ideas with ease, then Alpha Brain is something you should check out. And if you don't agree, no worries. Onnit offers a full money-back guarantee. Get 10% off your supplement purchase by going to onnit.com slash fire. O-N-N-I-T dot com slash fire. This brings us to my favorite part of the show, which is the lightning round. This is where I get to ask you a series of questions and you come back at us Fire Nation style with amazing and mind-blowing answers. Sound like a plan? Let's go. (laughs) What was holding you back from becoming an entrepreneur? Um, I've been an entrepreneur, unlike I've been an entrepreneur since seven years old. That's when I started my first business, and um, so I've I've had businesses from you know the little lemonade stands to little postcards and hustling up to buying and selling domain names and building websites. I got in the tech industry when I was twelve years old, so I haven't had a lot of like you know hold back. I'm always very motivated and going. So I think I'm an entrepreneur by life. What is the best advice you've ever received? Uh, Learn to learn from experience and not just experience other people's experience. Love that. Can you share one of your personal habits, Syed, that you believe attributes to your success? I wake up early. I wake up at 4 a.m. every day and I'm pretty much done with my work by the time everybody's getting up and getting ready by 9. And I do that because I think that you know, human beings are more productive naturally when they first wake up and getting this head start really helps me. So what time do you try to go to bed at night? Uh, 10 to 10.30, no later than that. <laughs> Got to get those six hours at least, my man. Come on. Yep. <laughs> do you have an internet resource like an Evernote that you're just in love with that you can share with our listeners? Yes, Time Doctor. If you want to become more efficient, you got to see what you're wasting your time on. If you can't find those holes, you can't fill them. And Time Doctor allows you to do just that. Love that. And I just interviewed the founder of Time Doctor. In Fire Nation, you can find the links to this resource and everything else that we've mentioned in today's episode by going to eofire.com slash Syed Balki. Syed, if you could recommend one book for our listeners, what would it be? Power of Habit. That would be my favorite book. Fire Nation, I know you love audio. And if you want to get the audio version of this book for free, you can go to eofirebook.com. That's eofirebook.com. Com. So, Syed, this next question is my favorite, but it's kind of tricky. So take your time, digest it, then come back at us with an answer. Imagine you woke up tomorrow morning in a brand new world, identical to Earth, but you knew no one. You still have all the experience and knowledge you currently have, your food and shelter taken care of, but all you have is a laptop and $500. What would you do in the next seven days? I would start a website and start sharing my experience because with all the experience and knowledge that I know, I know I can definitely help somebody. And when I when you help others, they are more likely to help you. And then I'll be able to get to where I am again and pretty fast. Help others. I love that theme that's developed, Syed. It's a powerful one. And I have really enjoyed hearing your journey. And it's only been 22 years. I can't even wait for what the next 22 years of your journey have in store. Give Fire Nation one parting piece of guidance. Share the best way that we can find you, Syed, and then we'll say goodbye. Uh, the best way to find me is um, either going to wpbeginner.com or to my Twitter at Syed Balki. And give us one parting piece of guidance. The parting piece of guidance is learn how to manage your time better because time is that one asset that you're always losing to learn to use it wisely. 
All we have is time, Syed. Wise words. And Fire Nation is well aware. They can find the links to everything that we've mentioned in today's episode at eofire.com. Click on the podcast tab. Syed, you are hanging out in the archives. Or just type S-Y-E-D in the search bar on eofire.com. Syed will pop right up for you guys. And Syed, Thank you for being so generous with your time, your expertise, and your experience. Fire Nation salutes you, and we'll catch you on the flip side. Thank you, John. I appreciate it. Some of my favorite stores line Exchange Street in the Old Port in Maine. I love walking into these stores because they feature locally made goods. But what if these shops had the ability to sell their products to people all over the U.S. and not just to those who happen to be in Maine? With Shopify, they can. Get a free 14-day trial and 20% off for life at shopify.com slash fire. That's shopify.com slash fire. Thank you so much for joining us today on Entrepreneur on Fire. Head on over to eofire.com for full recaps of every show, our amazing blog articles and resources, and just plain fun. Your entrepreneurial journey awaits, so prepare to ignite. 